try to run my life with all your dirty lies and your spies. Hey everybody, this is Marco Amaya on the Patriot Torch, and um, there's some big things happening lately with Roger Stone getting arrested, and I wanted to clarify this for a lot of people because I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to just gobble up whatever mainstream media tells them, and they're going to see, oh, Roger Stone got arrested for seven counts of blah, 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 and oh, and, and he's connected to Trump, so you know he must be a criminal, and Trump must be bad for even knowing who this guy is, and they don't look into it in detail, and I'm about to break it down for you. What, what is, who is Roger Stone? What did he do? And what's actually happening? What, what, what is this? In, what was he doing? What was the investigation about? You know, Roger Stone was in, uh, involved as a victim of, of an investigation by Robert Mueller. Okay? Robert Mueller, we have to remember, you know, if you don't have a memory of a goldfish, you'll remember that R Robert Mueller was involved in the uh, Russia collusion hoax that turned out to be total bullshit. Okay, that there was no evidence of that, that. That's why the whole investigation collapsed. That's why they never got anything on Trump, right? But the Democrats, they've been saying for three years, oh yeah, there's been a mountain of evidence. We're gonna get Trump for this. You know, we're, he's going down. Total garbage. Total garbage. And that the Russia collusion hoax, right, is the whole reason why they were investigating Roger Stone. So Roger Stone is being investigated off of nothing. He he shouldn't even be being investigated to begin with. Okay, and they suspect that he's colluding with Russia and all this stuff. He's never even been to Russia physically either. <laughs> and um, so Roger Stone is a Trump supporter who promoted Trump and was a, was a, a key figure in helping Trump get elected, bringing publicity to Trump. Uh, he, Roger Stone wrote books exposing uh, the Clintons and the crimes they've done. And of course, oh, what a surprise. The Democrat-run investigation uh, finds this uh, Trump supporter guilty and, and of, of lying because uh, apparently he answered a couple questions wrong in an, when, while he's being questioned a million times by this in, in partisan investigation. Oh, he, he, he said that he didn't communicate with this journalist when he did communicate with him. And, and, and guess what he did? You know what, he, you know what Roger Stone was actually doing? He was, ask, he was talking to a journalist to find out that a journalist that was talking that knew Julian Assange, so he wanted to Roger Stone wanted to find out what was going to be in the WikiLeaks that were going to come out. It was there going to be emails about the Democrats, you know, what was going to be in it. He just wanted to know what was in the WikiLeaks, and now he's going to jail for the rest of his life. Just think of how ridiculous that is. That's what he was. He was apparently uh, colluding with Russia because he wanted to know what was in the WikiLeaks. Everyone wanted to know what was in the WikiLeaks. I wanted to know what was in the WikiLeaks. You know what? You know what? It's funny because the WikiLeaks, when once it was published, it proved that the Democrats were were doing all kinds of dirty crap. Uh, you know, rigging the debates for Hillary Clinton. There were there was pedophilia in the emails. There was people uh, t trying to talk. They were talking about having little children brought to their bathtubs. There was uh, spirit cooking and satanic ritual crap. And then all these crimes, right? All these crimes. The WikiLeaks, but the mainstream media. That doesn't matter. None of that matters. All those thousands of emails are full of crap from the Democrats. None of that matters. It's, oh, Roger Stone is a, is a horrible criminal because he wanted to know what was in him. This is ridiculous. This is absolute garbage. This guy shouldn't even be going to jail. He didn't do anything. There was no, you know, it's, it, this whole investigation was all about trying to find a Russia collusion. There was no Russia collusion. They didn't even find any Russia collusion. And so now what, Roger, they had to get Roger on something else. Right? They had to get Roger on something else, anything else. Just the, these, these Robert Mueller's trying to find a, you know, pull crumbs out of his own ass to try to put something together here. Because there's nothing there. Okay, this is the criminality of the Democrats. This was a partisan investigation, clearly, because there was text messages between Strzok and Page and all these people involved in the investigation talking about how they hate Trump and they're trying to get rid of him. And, and it's just all this, this bull crap, right? And then the Russia collusion turns out to be fake. Everyone knows it. That's why it never worked out. So, of course, as soon as that's over, now it's a brand new hoax, right? Oh, Trump and, and Trump in Ukraine. Trump in Ukraine. You know, you can't have a memory of a goldfish, folks. The Democrats pushed a lie on you for three years, telling you they were, they were going to totally get Trump on this, never got a single freaking piece of evidence, total lies, and now they're coming up with Trump in Ukraine, and you think they're going to tell you the truth about that? Bull crap. 
They're, they're ambassador, the impeachment trial is a circus act. You ever seen that this ambassador, Bill Taylor over here? Oh, oh yeah, I heard from Mr. Morrison and he heard from Mr. Sondland and he heard from another guy about Mike Pence in Warsaw, but they, there wasn't quid pro quo, but, 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 but there's, I heard this thing and it's just bull crap. They, they wrote this script in their basement and brought it to Congress and they're, they're trying to make this act like, oh, it's just horrible, like Trump is a criminal, but there's no evidence, there's never any evidence. It's, it, the, uh, the Democrats are professional liars. They're professional liars. The people that continue to believe this stuff are in a mental trance. They're in a mental trance. They, they, re, they watch the mainstream media. It, they, present, it, they present these stories in a certain way to make it look like it's so certain that there's something wrong with Trump and, and Roger Stone and all this stuff when there isn't. Because they're, they're, it's all based on lies. The whole... Um, investigation about Roger Stone to begin with, right, was to try to find a Russia connection. There was no Russia connection to this day. And, and then at the same time, it was about the hacking of the emails, of the DNC emails, right? They were saying that that was somehow related to Russia. That was never proven to have it related to Russia. It was some hacker named Guccifer 2.0 or something. There was, no, there was no proof that that was a Russian agent. There was even some, some evidence pointing to perhaps someone in the, inside the DNC that just was like a whistleblower type person that just downloaded these emails or, and took them away and sent them to WikiLeaks or whatever. But either way, there was no Russian connection. We need to help Roger Stone, and we have to remember that this is an attack on our lives. It's not just, oh, this random guy got arrested. No, no, no. This is a, an American citizen that was a Trump supporter, okay, He's getting arrested off of a fake investigation, folks. That means that you can get arrested for a fake investigation if Mueller decides to investigate you. This is ridiculous. This is ty tyranny. You, we have, Trump has to pardon Roger Stone. He has to do it. You can, he can't just let Trump supporters that helped him get elected, just you know, whoever the Democrats want to pick on next, they get, they're going to go to jail and there's no justice and there's nothing, there's no way to fight back. Bullcrap. Pardon this guy. Pardon Roger Stone. He's going to go to their jail for the rest of his life off of nothing. Nothing. It's just unbelievable. Um, and so that, that's apparently, apparently the crime, that he wanted to know what was in the WikiLeaks. Wow. Wow. What a, what a Russian agent. It, yeah, everyone wanted to know what was in the WikiLeaks. Um, and so that's just infuriating. And so you need to call the White House, demand uh, Trump, pardon Roger Stone. The number is 202-456-1414. You can leave a message. You can go to the whitehouse.gov to sign the petition to um, make sure that uh, Trump pardons Roger Stone. We just have to put pressure on this because you can't. We can't let the Democrats just run around screwing everyone they want and then and then saying that that, that it's part of this uh, legit investigation, which is which it isn't. They're just completely making up a bunch of lies uh, and getting people in jail for it off of lies. So this is just ridiculous, and it's a criminal activity has to be exposed. Um, and that's why I made this video to clarify the situation with Roger Stone. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.